Hello, welcome to my tutorial for Pegas, the um, powered guidance system, ascent system for KOS. Now, yesterday I made a huge mistake. <laughs> I forgot to record. So, I'm redoing it today and I'm going to give you a few examples as to how it works. So, there are three types of scopes. There are four, four sections. One is vehicle, two is... No, the second one. Um, the second one is going to be something like... Uh, I forgot what the second one is. Oh yeah, controls... Third is um, sequence, and the fourth is the mission. You need all four scopes, all four sec sections to make the gas work. So each contain or it's a lexicon. It's contain either a list or a list of lexicons or it is a lexicon itself. List and lexicons lists are basically um Oh yeah, by the way, lists are essentially, I don't know, for example, you could put like, set shopping, and just go list to list eggs, right, eggs. Eggs, butter, bacon, whatever. Um, a lexicon is it's sort of a list, but I don't know how to describe a lexicon because I've never really came across lexicons very often. Lexicons are basically exactly the same, but it portrays it can portray numbers, and instructions, and stuff. So basically a list is like a shopping list, a um, to-do list, something like that. Um, all units are in kilograms or, new or newtons or kilograms per second and kilometers. Pegas is a real system The Pegas was a real system using the spatial system. There was um there were there's documents on the NASA archives about it. So section one Okay, so, now we're going to have to define it, global is the list. Now, global basically says to KOS, oh yeah, by the way, this is global for every single command on, this is global for every single variable under the name vehicle. This is what I mean. So, at the start of Pegas, the, uh, it basically says, define parameter vehicle. Name, put the name of the stage here. I'm going to show you uh, code tutorial stage one. Um, mass total um,
300 tons. That's 300 tons that will be displayed in the VAB. 300.000. Putting simply, just remove the, just remove the decimal point. Yep. Also. No, this does not include SLBs or anything staged before UPFG activates. Well, it doesn't include anything staged before UPFG activation. Because that would completely mess up the system because it would think, Oh wait, we're burning a little bit longer. And then just before it ends burning, it will stop. Um, equals three, three times nine point eight one, which is about forty two point forty two meters per second squared. Minimum throttle engines in RO have a minimum throttle. You can find that just by saying it'll say min or unthrottable. If it's unthrottable, then it's one zero point seven five. EDRG engine produces 100 K can kilonewtons. The min thrust is 70, 75 can. <laughs> this is the percentage. Important note that's the percentage. Usually that is what this is one. Um wait. Require shutdown. It would help fix that. This is useful for recovery because if you don't because if you don't have a um because let's say you have a rocket and you want to recover it, if you don't put that there, if you don't set that to 1, that's boolean, so it's going to be 0 or 1, if it's 0, it won't shut down, if it's 1, it will. Basically, if you have a rocket and that's set to 0, or it doesn't exist, it will assume it's 0. Basically, it'll be like, oh wait, hang on, I'm not shutting this down, it'll stage, but the engine on that stage will keep on going, so you'll basically just get... So bad things can happen. Engines list. Now this is a list of Alexicon ISP, which is a specific impulse for eleven and flow. That's two point two tons per second. Now, for the first stage, we don't need to go into this. For the first stage, we don't need to go into this. Um, and then you just put a comma there. And now we already start the second stage. 
blocks. So that's your first block. Well done, you've just created your first block of code for Pegas. So like that. Name code Now, but I'm not talking because I've talked you through this again. Mass drive. Now, what we can also do is mass fuel. Um. Eighty eight. One two three. That way, as you say, the dry mass is two tons. Oh wait, I've just realized that shouldn't be G limit, that's G lim. And also if we don't So if the rocket engine doesn't throttle, it's not required. Now We don't shut it down because Pegas will automatically shut it down. Um, <clears throat> ISP six five six four five five six five no four six six five. Now we can use thrust here, um, thrust for the, uh, time is about 37,000 units. <laughs> Newtons, which is N, that's the standard variable for it. Now, staging. Now this is the part that you should really pay to jettison. Wait before jettison is free. Now, let's say this is the Falcon 9, because you know how the Falcon 9 separates and then the engine fires about three seconds later. True if there is a into the night. This should be fairly obvious. Free um So basically, um, okay, so well, I'm going to go with Is it always been a direction? Oh, I 
just let me check. So let me check here. I'd rather give you guys the best you can get. Yeah. So, basically, if it's not non, so if this can be either SRB, non, or RCS, because I, put RC, because I put RCS, I need to have both of these. Next is the controls. Um, global controls is lexicon. Now this is the ones that you nearly need, because I don't really put most of them here. I can get by just by using a separate one. If you want to look at the full documentation, I will provide a link in the description. And I'm using Notepad++, plus plus. I will also provide a link to that in the description as well. Launch time advance, minus 3. Like, 150. This is in seconds, as always. Um... 